What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be discussing something that I already should have uh, brought onto the channel and I just haven't. Um, I finally got around to it and again what has taken me so long to not only watch it but is uh, Pokemon The Ultimate Journeys Part 2. Now this is going through Netflix. This is, you know, it's already aired over in Japan. I may just go ahead and watch the rest of it in uh, Japanese rather than English dub. Again this is just me. The reason why is because of Everything that's leading up to this, we already know, or I already know, it's already been out there, that Ash is going to win this tournament. He's going to win, you know, the Masters 8. He, he will win. It's already been decided. But I think it's going to mean more to me to see this more in English because, again, what I grew up watching with... Uh, Pokemon as a kid, you know, watching the English dub, dub for so long. Again, I'm not against the Japanese, just watching Japanese subtitle if, if that is going to be, whether it be the sub or the dub. I may just watch the sub just so that way I can catch up with it. But either way, I think that it just means more to me because I'm going to be able to watch more and be able to enjoy it a little bit quicker, in my own opinion. But I think that this part two was rather interesting you know the build up to the whole masters eight seeing fellow uh you know characters that we hadn't seen so long and same thing of what they've been up to where they what they're doing now and pretty much everything of that nature it's pretty much concluding what i feel like was the build up of ash's collision i guess you would say with uh the groups that he's known for years you know what what he's been doing for this entire time what have they been doing and you know, how's Ash going to meet these characters? And that's pretty much what we've been seeing for a while. And overall, like I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, there were some episodes that probably wasn't the best out of my opinion. Some was kind of boring. And again, every Pokemon, uh, I would say, episode can either be amazing or could be boring, depending on your own preference of it. Um, I liked how Go was finally, he made it to the top three for the Mew Project, as well as him and Gary finally working together and Go kind of growing into his own and not relying on Ash or relying on anybody, but just kind of like, hey, you know, I got to find my own way. And I, I like that. I thought that was pretty cool. But overall, like I said, part two was rather interesting. I'm not going to go too much into it because for those of you who probably have already seen it or for those of you that are currently watching it or for even those of you that probably want to go just check it out at some point. But let me know what you guys think about part two down in the comments. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.